Hello, my name is Matt, and welcome to a sort of not really Redstone E101 beginner's guide video. I don't really know, it's a Redstone video, Jaws not here, so I suppose that makes it a Redstone 101. It's 7am, I've not slept, I've just stayed up all night, so a little bit here, a little bit there. Um, oh, hang on, I was going to show that, but I had it in a video, but I the video, so ignore that, ignore that, ignore that, I'll come to those some other time. Uh, also ignore that, because that's also up there. Um, yeah. Um, the reason I said Sethling on it is because Sethling actually made this design. I've just covered it in iron because it looks cooler. Basically, um, I've been making a load of stuff, redstone-y things for adventure maps. Uh, yeah, adventure maps, future ones and stuff. And I was thinking um, of making sort of like a, a download. Um, my brain's all fuzzy and stuff. What was I thinking? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. What I was, think what I was thinking of doing was um, making like a download for people who want to make adventure maps but don't really have like the knowledge, I suppose, without sounding insultive, of the redstone, of how it works and stuff. Like, for, for, the, beginning of an event for the beginning of an adventure map, there we go, this is pretty much perfect. Um, you basically need one of these because you want people to spawn in one point, which over here is this place here and if the, the 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 radius around one point is that big for a multiplayer spawn which isn't ideal so this is this is Sethwing's design but I made it a bit more user friendly for people who aren't too confident with command blocks I've just written the signs down here like keep inventory mob griefing and command block output you just type in true or false in those depending on how you want them and stuff and then this one sets everyone's game mode to adventure mode and these two um, this one teleports the person to the spawn room, and this one sets their spawn point to the spawn room. Now, these are a bit more complicated, I can't really do much else about it, but basically, they ask for the coordinates of that gold block. Where, well, let's see, this the, this X, Y, and Z here are the coordinates of that gold block, you just have to put that in yourself. And then, where it says coords of the spawn room, coords of spawn room here, you basically just want to have that coordinate there, which is that one. And then that would just that all works out. There's nothing else that needs to be done. Those are the only command blocks you need to edit. And then this is the spawn room where you can select your difficulty. Now, it uses the same design as High Pixels. Um, it has a mob on the pressure plate there to detect whether it's on peaceful or not. However, I didn't really like the design of the redstone. I mean, I'll, I'll just show you it now because I used it in Bad Santa. It was literally just a copy and paste job for Bad Santa. This is what it looks like. Now I know he was the first one to think of this sort of, so he's not really he's not copied the design like someone else has. He's made this himself, so of course it is going to be a little bit rough around the ages like that. It works fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not slow. It's not fast like the bit of redstone I've got, and no one's ever going to see it, so it doesn't matter. However, I sort of get like OCD over stuff like this, and I like making it look neat. So if we go back onto here, um, I sort of made a prototype for it, or like a co more compact version of it somewhere. Uh, I'll ignore that for now, I'll come to that. Uh, no, that's a village. That uh, Somewhere past that, I can't remember the flying. But basically, I made a version of it, but then I've been compacting it, and believe it or not, all that redstone actually fits inside here. Oh, bollocks. What was it? Oh, is that, yeah. There we go. Okay. And um, basically, what is in here is it's really compact. Um, this is the day-night thing to make it constantly daytime, or constantly nighttime, depending on how you want it. I've put that there. And... Um, this is the bit where you have to press the button twice, like in the second room. I fit that in there as well. So I've got all the redstone really densely compact in there, just basically so that um, if you want to inc incorporate this in an adventure map of your for yourself, um, you can put this basically as a, you can decorate this as a house. The redstone is compact enough for it to be in the map rather than really far away. And then the two things, you, the three blocks you can customise here are teleport to the map, start of the map, so for like the Bad Santa one it was the cave. So you put the coordinates there, put the coordinates there, boom, sorted. And then the only other one is the one over there, which I showed before, which is the which is the minecart, which is the time. So basically, all the redstone's hidden pretty much. They're fairly simple to use and all the command blocks that you need to change are all exposed on the out, outside. So these are all going to be schematics that I'm going to put in the download. And also as well, in the download, because I'm not just going to put these up for download, because that's stupid, because that's high pixels design, that's Sethling's design. Um, I was basically thinking of making like a map making kit, and included in that would be a load of custom mob entities, 
that you can use as schemat which would be schematic files so you could put them into your into your minecraft worlds they'd have a, and then i just they'd have the, um the persistent mobs effect on them so that if the chunk unloads it won't delete the mob they will stay there which is pretty essential really and um yeah there's, i'm going to put in a big list of them i've already made about 20 like zombie m mobs each with like different um, pieces of armor, different weapons, stuff like that. Interesting mobs. So if you want to leave a suggestion for like an interesting mob for me to make to put in the download for later on, then feel free to do so. Um, there's not really much else to say there. That's sort of that was just it's just a small little thing. So that if people don't know how to use MC Edit filters too well, I'm just going to make like a preset here. That's one. That's the spawn. That's the other part of the spawn. And then a load of custom mobs. So if you don't know how to make them, I'll just give you a big load, of, a big bunch of them. So I think that should help because, and like it was, it took me a while to work out how like High Pixel did it and stuff like that, and that was painful. And I could do a tutorial on it, but I don't really like feel like it's appropriate. Like I didn't make up the designs. I didn't make up the ideas even. I don't think I should be the one doing the tutorial on it. Hypixel should be. So if I just release a load of just entities that you can use that have been pre-made, doesn't really reveal a secret. It's not really mattered to be honest, but I just it's I think it's a cool idea. You'll get a folder and they'll just be like a hundred or so schematic files, all one block big with a certain mob inside it. I think that's pretty cool. So I'll probably do that. So that's that down that's the download. I'll call it like the map makers like toolkit or something like that. Or you know, something cheesy. Another idea I had after the Bad Santa map, this is just something else. I'm going off on a tangent. Like I said, it's a redstone thing video. I've not slept for 36 hours. I've had a lot of sugar. And um, basically, this is a checkpoint. This would have been really handy. I've overcomplicated this. It only really has to be a button with a command block. But basically, um, in the Bad Santa map, with the, very, with the first bit, which is the river, it was a bit annoying if you got to the end, died, and had to run all the way back. This would be a very simple solution. Press the button. It sets my spawn point to here. Sets everyone's spawn point on the map. It's just me at the moment, so you know. And um, so if you if you die, I'm just, I'm just gonna kill myself. You know, respawn. Yeah, you, it just spawns you back here again. That'll be useful. And then people can choose their spawn points. Then go back to previous checkpoints and press the button again. So I just I just think having these all around the map would be would have been pretty good. So for future adventure maps that me and Jordan are gonna be building, gonna be putting those everywhere. And uh, there's one more thing. Um, oh yeah, the clock. The clock. I wanted to make a big timer, like I said, I had a, I had a few hours to kill because I, I didn't sleep. Um, so this was a clock, and I'm going to use this in future adventure maps because I've got I thought of some really cool ideas. Um, so I'll tell George about those and I'll work on them later on. But this was a cool idea. Um, it's pretty pretty simple to be honest. You know, you can't. There's not much there. It's a, a few pieces of redstone, a piston or two. Uh, basically, the way this works is this is a piston tape. If you can see, there's one, two, there's ten, ten bits in like one reel, and um, redstone like pokes through them diagonally from each other, like that one, that one, that one. And I've just wired it up so that it will show a number, so it's six. And when I press a button down here, it advances the piston tape on one cycle, and I've just made it so it shows five. It's very cluttered. It's very unorganized. It's not like there's a straight line down the middle of it that, show, that gives off the, that holds the info for the number. It, it like it zigzags, and then the six, the seven of those, the the bottom seven show the seven segments. This top one, the the second to top one, um, only has one bit of information in it, and that'll light up. That'll come through here when it's at its highest value. So in this case, it'll be a nine. That one is just a five. This one will show a nine. And then the top one shows its lowest case, its lowest case. So this will light up when it shows zero. So the bottom, the bottom seven are just for visuals, and then the top two actually help. They don't actually contribute to the display, but when it's zero, it gives off a signal. When it's nine, it gives off a signal. Um, there's a bit. This one's a bit different. It's a little bit longer because this only goes up because there's only fifty nine seconds in a minute. No, there isn't. Shit, the sixty. You know what I mean. Fifty nine is is, is a clock. Um, so this is gonna ha only have six digits in it. Zero, one, two, three, four, and five. That's six digits. If I was to make it three for three, it would be tiny. I wouldn't be able to fit all this redstone in the middle of it. So rather than having naught to five, 
this goes 0 to 5, 0 to 5, so there's 12 here, you know, it's extended one. And then instead of having, say, this only goes around when it's at its lowest value, so it'll show 0 once. You can see there's 2 here, it'll show 0. Then this one will come around and show a 0 again. Then these two are identical to these two. Basically, when this gets up to, when this goes to, it goes down, so when it gets to 9, when this goes to 9, um, it'll be at its highest value, so this will light up, it'll come down here, like this, and then go into the input of the next one. So basically, when this is running, this will go downwards, but when this gets to 0, it'll go back up to 9, but also reduce this by 1. So this is this is tied to a clock, goes down once every second, this goes this is tied to that, goes down once, you, you know, and then that ties to that, that, that ties to that. Since this only goes up to 6, it's just a continuous, like, loop one goes into the next which goes into the next it all works out pretty nicely the beginner's guide to redstone where i showed the seven segment display um that's the really old-fashioned way of doing it if i was to do this with binary digits it'd suck it'd be it'd fill all of this really pistons let you cheat really which is which is good um so if i was to set this going I'm just gonna, there we go get that going look at that so that's pretty cool it's one big piston tape and then when that gets round, it activates that one, and then that one, and that one. So it's showing two, uh, 52 minutes, one second. As you know, it'll, it'll keep counting down. So this this could be used to time one hour, which, okay, the redstone does. Okay, jokes aside, the redstone does look pretty complicated. But that amount of redstone to be able to have a, a timer that lasts for one hour and showing all the digits down to the second. That's pretty good, really. I'm quite happy with how that turned out. So that's pretty cool. Um, in fact, this can be used for like all sorts of crap because say, I don't. if I don't want this, to, I can set this to anything. I've got a schematic of this set to a 45 minute timer, which is you know pretty useless. Like I can reduce these. These buttons all make these the numbers go down by one. So I could say, if I set this to, zero i've made it so when it gets down to zero it stops the timer sort of like if i just oh that's it i don't want to press it then at the same time as that goes so oh no wait that's gonna go to okay zero good so let's just cut off 10 seconds or so let's get this down there's a problem with this at the moment i'm gonna fix it because i'll do it later and that's it there we go right so 16 so oh, sod it on quick okay so two one Guess a zero. It says time up. Although then, then it it doesn't stop. It just it doesn't just stop in time, which is a bit annoying. So it then goes back up to fifty nine minutes and fifty nine seconds. But you know, with a bit of tweaking, I can fix that. Basically, when all these show zero, that'll be on. That'll be on. That'll be on. That'll be on. One massive and the gate with four torches that comes down here, goes to the other side. Of this RS null latch flips it off because you know when I, when I start the clock, it comes onto this side. When they're all zero, it comes to this side. Um, there we go. And that stops that clock. And that's pretty much it. Um, I've sort of rambled a bit. Like I said, I'm hyper. Um, this is really, this is a really sugary drink, and uh, ah, I should probably stop drinking it before it, before it um, kills my liver. Wait, no, your liver's not the thing that sugar. Mm -hmm. I'll Google it later on. I can't be asked at the moment. That's pretty much it. Um, that download checkpoints would be cool. Big ass timer. Uh, this is a really random video. Then again, it is 25 to 8 in the morning. I've not slept. It put, it seemed like a good idea. It seemed like a good idea. So when you see this, I'll, I'll probably be asleep. Or probably won't be, actually. Um, I've got another 10 hours to wait. stay awake now. Oh, this is going to be a slow day. That's basically it. So, I'll see you.